Ben here, Wellbeing Coach, Child Practitioner, and I'm here with... Occupational Therapist, Joyce Adekoya. Great, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joyce, so leading on from our other videos, mm -hmm. an area um, that we wanted to discuss is the importance of self-care during this time. There's going to be a lot of emphasis on education at home, and there's going to be an element of pressure, I feel. Um, what we must ensure is that we don't put too much pressure and, too, and emphasise too much in education and we neglect the self-care mm -hmm. from our children. Yeah. Um, so can we just provide some advice on how to really promote the self-care within the household? Yeah, definitely. Thanks for that, Ben. Mm -hmm. So what I'd like to say is self-care really is a very broad concept. And the whole idea of self-care really is it's an actually an essential occupation, what we call it occupation. Yeah. It's something that we need to do yeah. in order to sell, stay well and healthy, which really the basis of, of health is a very holistic approach. So, sure, okay. so there are a variety of things you can do to stay healthy. So what we would like to advise and talk on really today in terms of young people at home and how parents can support is that obviously being at home now where you're trying to sort of integrate a new routine and academic routine we'd also like to make sure as part of that self-care so number one things like washing and dressing self-grooming although you're going to be at home there might be that tendency to stay longer in your pajamas have a lazy have, morning have a lazy morning not really brush your teeth that well so would you say Sticking the same routine as you're getting up for school, yeah. as, as your children do normally, they get up, have their breakfast, have their wash, get dressed, not necessarily in their school uniform, but they're still getting ready for the day. Perfect, spot on. Yeah. That is spot on. Reason being is because, as you just heard, Ben mentioned about have your breakfast. Now, the essential meal of the day, which is also part of your self-care, mm -hmm. is breakfast because it, it gives the brain fuel, it Absolutely. gives the brain energy to be able to focus and then to actually do the task that you need to do, really, and have that stamina and to be That's healthy. It. So yeah, that is part of Yeah, because I think if you, if you think of by the time you go to sleep mm -hmm. and by the time you wake up, there's a long period of time where your body hasn't had any nutrition. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, so your yeah. body's really craving the energy. That's it. So I think the, I say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. It's going to set you up. So making sure your children have a substantial, nutritious breakfast. That's it. That is totally important. So as part of that, remember self-care, grooming, grooming, washing and dressing, making sure your clothes are clean. You know, you know when you have a nice shower or, or, or you clean up, you feel good. When you look good, you smell good. Absolutely. And you're refreshed to start the day. And as well as that, the nutritional part, which is obviously having your breakfast, mm -hmm. and then in intervals having you know healthy snacks, yeah. crackers, having your fruits, and drinking so, lots of water, keeping hydrated, it's all part of self care. Another important aspect of self care that I think it's important to touch on is the mental health. Absolutely. Now the mental health absolutely. is a really really big thing, and really what we we know that around this time there might be a little bit of extra worries or concerns or questions that some of the young people and children might have and also the parents yeah, as well, well yeah. thinking about okay how much you're going to manage having the younger ones and the older ones all at home locked up locked up in the same space so thinking about how we're managing our anxieties yes. and mental health during this period is really really important what i wanted to touch on upon as well is as adults we do we all have anxieties around the current affairs and what is most important not to do is display these anxieties in front of your children. Mm -hmm. I know it's hard to do. Mm -hmm. Have a discussion with another mm -hmm. adult, make a phone call, but try not to express these anxieties in front of your children mm -hmm. because they will pick up on these behaviours and that will make them anxious even more. Mm -hmm. So if you have a worry or a concern around what's going on, speak to another adult, don't speak to your child about it or don't display any anxiety behaviours in front of your child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, to be honest, Ben, that, that's really important what you touched up upon. And I think parents, what it really is, is not projecting your fears and anxiety mm. onto the children, 
but rather providing a safe space for open dialogue and discussion. So you might Absolutely. be concerned about something, but rather expressing sort of your anxiety in a way that is non-productive or not very healthy, maybe having a question and answer time about, yeah. about Corona and making it into like fun, a fun games really, and ways to stay safe during, during yeah. the Corona. So another thing we can be looking at as part of the healthcare, the sort of like the, you know, hygiene side, yeah. which is obviously as part of, you know, the Corona thing, what they've advised us to do is wash your hands. For oh, 20 seconds. At least 20 seconds. At least 20 seconds, singing happy birthday. Two. Times. <laughs> <laughs> Two times. And, you know, if you can try to at least, anytime you've touched something or come in contact with food or you've gone to the toilet or you've, you know, picked, played outside in the garden or played in the house or give, gave someone a hug, even though we shouldn't really be hugging, we should be doing, you know, creative styles of, of greeting such as Oh, you know, so making things a bit fun and creative, using other ways of greeting. I mean, those are other ways of, of, of maintaining self-care and keeping yourself safe during this time. So I think, as, we, as we've discussed, self-care is quite a broad area, but just making sure that, number one, your nutrition, mm -hmm. you're watching your nutrition, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Number two, making sure that you, you know, paid a bit of attention to your mm -hmm. self-grooming and your, you know, having a shower, brushing your teeth, sort of like the, um, you know, the personal care type of things. If you go to the toilet, wash your hands. And then on top of that, also the mental health and managing your anxieties during this time is really, really important and making sure that really you're keeping a very positive mindset mm -hmm. and just know that, yes, the situation is, this situation of Corona is on the ground, but it's not the end of the world and there are ways that we need to learn to adapt to, to an ever-changing world. And this really is just part of parents encouraging your children that life is unpredictable. There are going to be ups and downs. And, you know, we've got to find positive ways to deal with it. Absolutely. So if life throws lemons at you, we're going to make lemonade out of it. Absolutely. And that's what it really is about. Keeping a positive mindset, being focused, keeping yourself happy, both physically and also your mental health and managing mm. your, your anxiety during this time. So touch upon the, the physical health as well. Having a good level of exercise yep. within this routine is, is, is extremely important. And I know we're really restricted at the moment because... <laughs> Uh, we're all at home so again it's finding a space where you can exercise again there's plenty of resources online um, online trainers you can YouTube them uh, myself Ben Green you've got lots of Joe Wicks Faisal um, you know, there's plenty of other people out there you can look onto their YouTube websites which we can put in the link below um, and access them, use them as much as possible. As we touched upon about the movement breaks in a previous video, you can use them videos in the movement breaks as well. Definitely. So making sure your nutrition's right and your exercising as well. Definitely, yeah. Cool. Perfect. Okay, thank you guys, thank you for watching. Thank Any you. questions, please, please leave them below. We can answer them at a later date. Take care guys, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>